Hi, welcome to product tutorial by Robojax. In this video, we are going to learn how to use this W88, W1411 thermostat as a heater controller or cooler controller or incubator. And also this can be used as a timer to turn on something, to turn off something or turn on and turn off something. So it has four features. Let's get started with this. Now it is connected, now it's connected to power. <coughs> Ah, do not touch, do not touch when it is connected to AC. We will set our, in this case, we will set, then you want to control a fan. This is 65 on the left side, heater to heat up. In this case, set 45 on the left side, be how to calibrate this exit. Now, five have been added. All the value to factory default. This is sold as W88 and also they're putting it in a different package as W1411. In both cases, both of these are exactly the same except the shape changes, but the functionality, display and buttons are exactly the same. I purchased this from AliExpress, depending on the model. If you get uh, the AC version, $4.67, the DC almost the same thing, $4.53 plus $2.61 sh shipping. So you will get it in 30 days. I'll provide you the link so you can purchase it from affiliated links. Let's open the bag. This is how they shipped it. That's a temperature sensor that you can immerse it into liquid. We have these wires here. And they're selling 12 volt version 24. This is 220, but it's actually 110 and 220. So it works in North America as well. Let's open it and see what is inside it. The wire that is closer to this relay, this is for the load, which I'm going to show you how to control your load. Load means your heater, your uh, fan, uh, your motor, whatever you have, that is your load. Doesn't matter AC or doesn't matter DC. Keep that in mind. And that is the main connection. Because this is the AC version, I'm going to connect AC here. But if it was DC version, you will just connect it to 12 volts or 24 volts, whichever version you purchase. The red to the positive, the black to the negative for DC. And for AC, for AC, make sure to connect this to the, to the live wire. The AC to DC converter module, when it goes through this diode and then rectification happens and the rest operates based on this, whatever you have. And after this, so we have a microcontroller and other component with a buzzer and the temperature sensor is connected in here. Let's measure the sensor length. So 30, 60, 90, and 10 more, about 98 uh, centimeters. To turn this off, if you press and hold it, for longer period, it will turn off. To turn it on, just press it will turn on. So what is this W88? W88? This is a thermostat, which means it can control heat and cold. In both cases, you can control, for example, a refrigerator, or uh, you can control a fan uh, or a heater. In, in any case, the room temperature, the current temperature will be displayed in here. And we have two area on the left and the right. This can be temperature, this, and this each can be a temperature value or it can be a time in terms of minute and hour or uh, minute and minute, which I'm going to explain. And then we have a set button here. For the left side, we have these two arrow, which we press it up and down. It will change this value. And for the right side, we have these two push buttons, which will change this, this value. The middle is the temperature and it cannot be changed. And then the set. Uh, we are going to check all the functions one by one and as I turn this on it is affecting my microphone so I hope I can clear the sound because this is creating a lot of noise. You want to keep 
temperature below certain value, you want it to keep it below certain temperature, then in that case you want to apply or control a, a refrigerator or fan, but if you want to keep the temperature above certain value, then you can control a heater. This one also has uh, three more features. Function one, which has turn on and turn off time in terms of minutes up to 99 uh, minutes nine on, 99 minutes off. And then it has, uh, in this case, it has off time. So after certain hour and minute, it will turn off. And also after certain hour and minute, it will turn on something for you. For this demonstration, I'm going to use this AC bulb. This is a plug that will be connected to wall outlet and the light will be turned on. At the middle, at this point, I've disconnected the wire, one of the wire, the live wire here, and I've twisted them and prepared them. These two will be connected to the relay. Job of relay is to turn it on by connecting these two wires, turning on the light and disconnecting it, turning it off. So this can be a bulb or a fan or any other load, the same way the relay will connect it and disconnect it. And here are the two wires that I've just shown you. I'm gonna connect them to these two wires in relay. Here, the wiring is now done. Now let me talk about the relay power rating and on this relay it says normally open or in O. In that case it says 12 volts, 12 ampere, 14 volts. So uh, I is 12 and V is 14. To calculate the power, P is equal IV, so I is 12 and V is 14. So you can control 168 watts if you if you are use, connecting it with two, uh, 14 volts and the other value that is mentioned 7 ampere 120 volts i is 7 v is 120 for the ac and p is iv and so v is 7 times 120 is 840 watts so in any case respect the relay rating otherwise uh, it will be very hazardous and the system might catch fire and it will be very dangerous. Now this can be used as a cooler controller or air conditioner or fan for example when the temperature is high then you want to control a fan. This is just an example and we will have a fixed uh, temperature but because the temperature cannot be just one number we will have some value up or down I have um, given this example 45 to 65 but for real life this will be very narrow for example uh, 22 to 23 degrees or 24 degrees uh, left, um, but I cannot demonstrate it here so I have put two temperature far apart and this is now 45 and 65 when the so when you use a cooler, the job of the cooler is to keep it below certain temperature. So we are keeping it below 65 and that is the most important part for us. So what it does is now we will set 65 on the left side and 45 on the right side. The device will act to control a fan or as a cooler controller. So when the fan, uh, when the temperature reaches 65, the fan will turn on and or air conditioner will turn on and bring the temperature down. When it reaches 45, it will turn off. Even if it's cool, cooling down, we don't care about it because we want to keep it below certain value uh, and cool it down. So we have the number here. Sixty-five and forty-five. Now, this is my fan. Assume because I'm just using light. This is my fan, and the fan should start working at sixty-five. 
degrees. When the room gets up to 65, it should start working and will cool down the room until it reaches 45 and it will stop. So we have 65 the start. This is my heat gun. And let me turn it on. Pay attention to this temperature. So at 65, the light turned on. So this is now is in two. I'm cooling it down so you can see it. At 45, it will turn off. So the bulb is now the fan is turned off and as soon as the room gets 65 it will turn on again and the other one is when the room is too cold you want to control it and use a heater to heat up in this case we want to keep it above certain value because we don't want the room to get too cold and the, the warmer the room, the better. In that case, we have 45 in mind, and this is just an example. It could be very narrow. I'm, for demonstration, I'm selecting it. So you will select, if you want, for example, 45 degrees, you will set it 45, 46, and that will be fine. In this case, I used two numbers apart, and we will set 45 on the left side. Before 65 was here, now 45 on the left side, and 65 on the right side, and this will work as a heater controller. So let's put here 45 and here 65. Now the, now the, the heater is on. This is my heater. I'm using it as my heater. The heater is on because the, the temperature is below 45 when it is below 45 it is on now let me heat up so when the temperature uh, reaches at 65 it will turn off you see At 65, the heater was turned off. Now the heater, this heater will stay off until it reaches 45. So below 45, it will turn on, so because below 45 is bad. Now it's 57, the temperature is going down. When it reaches 45, the heater will turn on this heater. Let's see. Let me cool it down with my finger quickly, yes. So, very quick. Now the heater is on. Here, let's have a look at the F1 function. F1 is for on and off. For example, you want to set it to be turned on for six minutes, then you will set the on in here, and then if you want to turn it off for 25 minutes, then you set the off time in here. So on and off, this is in minute. There is no hour, it can go up to 99 minutes. F1, you have on and then off time, which So now let's demonstrate it. With one minute on, it will be one minute on and one minute off, and it will recycle, I'll repeat it.
and that's it. So because this is F1, it will be just repeating and it's just a loop. And if 2 is for off, what it means is after this much time, it will turn off after 1 hour and 32 minutes. In this case, we will set hour on the left side, uh, which can go up to 99 hours, and minute up to 59 minutes. On the right side, we can set it. This is a demonstration of F2. Initially, it is on, and after this amount of time, it will turn off. So let me reset it. So if I That once the light is off, it will stop and stays at zero zero. F3 is for on time, which means the device will turn on after this much uh, time, one hour and 32. So this is hour, we will set hours and then set minute. If I press this, it's F3, as you can see, it's immediately off. So now what it means is, at 30, after 30 minutes, it will turn on. It will be very long, so let me demonstrate it with one minute. Of course, you can increase it here. Zero. Let me decrease this here. So it turned on after that amount of time and that's it. It will stay on forever. And I don't trust it. The quality of the device in terms of setting everything is good. But this wire, you have to keep it within the range that is written on the relay. And also uh, it, this wire is not good. Make sure to replace it. Thank you for watching. This was how to use this W88 thermostat and timer controller please thumb up the video and also share and subscribe and if you have comment or question post it below this video i will try to answer and reply and now let me show you how to calibrate this if the temperature deviates or goes up and down let's disconnect this first it has been disconnected or the dc you have power it off hold this set button and then plug this in and then release it now you have few seconds to change let's say you can add to the temperature this is positive or you can subtract you see here negative and let me see what is the maximum negative
So negative 10 degrees. So you can subtract minus 5. So this plan plus can go very high. I don't think you will need it. So let's add 5, this plus 5 and wait it will exit. Now 5 have been added. Now the room temperature is 21.8 and it has been added to the temperature. Let me reset it back. and the room temperature is 20.9 now if you want to set all the value to factory default press these two buttons hold them and connect the power it made a big noise beep and all these settings you see it was 65 now it has changed so that is the full reset of factory default. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can use this DEEK robot DTS 1200 temperature. This is a device that you can set digitally the temperature and it will always keep it either by turning on a cooler or by turning on a heater so the temperature is within the range that you select how much it can deviate. It operates either an AC version or DC version. I purchased the AC version because that will be the most useful one but there is also a DC version of this available. And this is a temperature which I'm going to set to 45. In 2 kilowatts the load can be connected. 